Hey, this is Todd with an update on the do-it-yourself ambient orb with Arduino. It wasn't very clear what was going on, like was the orb actually being controlled with the computer or not. So I've set up this, uh, this better demonstration that shows what's going on. At the top here, there's a small processing applet that every 10 seconds goes and fetches a web page. Down here, shown the web page um, and the color value that's being parsed. Right now it's set to a nice pink for uh, Valentine's Day, but perhaps something like a deep red would be better for Halloween. Yeah, that's kind of nice. But, you know, maybe the um, blood's been sitting out for a while, so it gets a little purple. <laughs> so, you know, you set it and it becomes purple. Once, um, of course, uh, St. Patrick's Day rolls around, you can go to green. And that's quite nice. So it's a little bit softer green than, than a real hard green. You can get a little bit uh, even softer like this. Uh, see, and this demonstrates one of the problems with this. When you go to the more fully bright values, um, white's the worst case, it still looks a little pink. And um, I think this might be partly because the, my green value is, or my green LED isn't as uh, the same brightness level as the others. It might be just, I need a some sort of color calibration between the two. But for most of the things you want to do, it uh, looks pretty neat. And right now it's just talking to a web page, but it could read an RSS feed. Uh, there's some Java RSS reader uh, classes for processing, and there's also one really, one really good standalone one called Roam. I think I might, might, use that, might be using that one. Um, and if I do get something running, I'll definitely post the code. Of course, all this code is available on the website. And uh, yeah, make your colors. Make whatever you want. <laughs> and that's been the do-it-yourself ambient orb with Arduino.